and a nice man, too. Yeah. He certainly wouldn't want to offend anybody of any culture. And he proves that point in this joke. Now, the things we put that poor man through, all in the name of cultural courtesy. The victim, Ned Beatty. He's recently finished shooting a movie in Scotland. He thinks he's being interviewed by the British press. Now, this is the soundstage where our interview will take place. Now, you'll notice that the palm trees and the ocean blue backdrop there are being set up. That's because Ned's been told that this particular interview is going to be broadcast to the Cabot Islands, a chain of islands off the coast of Australia. Well, they don't exist, by the way. We made them up. Now, there's Ned in the jacket and tie, accompanied by our two accomplices. He's now going to meet our phony BBC interviewer, Derek Partridge. Now, you can see Ned looking around at the uh, South Sea Islands props. He has no idea what's in store for him. I usually don't use any. You don't? Now, these are the accomplices looking on. Okay, let's go. Mr. you've been in some... Darn it. Cut. Hold tape, Rick. I'm sorry. I do this so many times, I've forgotten to brief on a couple of rather unusual things. The audience we are aiming this program at is not terribly sophisticated. It's an island audience, and they use certain rather, to our minds, exaggerated hand gestures in their language. And we've had to adapt and modify some of these gestures in our television presentation. Now, the first thing which they do, the islanders wear brightly colored headscarves, which are rather like you know, our use of a hat. Right. And when they greet each other, they take the scarf off and they just wave it. It's like our thing about shaking hands, they just wave the little headscarf. When we start, if you'd just like to just wave that brief at the camera, the it's just a sign of friendship. <laughs> then, there's a couple of other things. When there's something that they really like, they just do this with a hand. Just a very simple gesture to the right with the right hand. Okay. Now, you also might be familiar with, uh, throughout the Pacific, the curry shell is used as currency. Mm. Now, when there's something they very, very strongly disagree with, they use their cowrie shells, not as large as these, we have to exaggerate them for television, mm. and they just do like this. So if it's something that you very strongly disagree with, we have to use these kind of visual images to help them, because right, English sure. is their second language. Mm. So if you'd like to sort of okay. keep those in your left hand. Mm -hmm. and this just, is for disagreeing. This is for strong disagreement. All Agreement right. is just Sort of a sort of, I guess we call it a chopping What happens gesture. if you do this and this at the same time? <laughs> it means you strongly disagree with the fact that you're working in them, which I would see. confuse them totally. <laughs> and we're having a hard enough time in dragging them into the 20th century. All right. Rick, we ready? Yes, we're rolling tape now. Okay. All right, Mr. Bain, yeah, if you'd just like to speech. greet our viewers just by yes. just a brief little wave with that. That's fine. <laughs> Mr. Bain, you've been in so many movies and so many television projects. Which are your favorite projects that you can remember, you really have good memories about? Two of my favorites are, are, are children's shows, actually, I guess that you could say. Uh, one was an ABC uh, afternoon special that I was in called Little Henry and the Polka Dot Kid. Not many people remember it, but it won an Emmy. Oh, I'm sorry, that's one thing. Our open hand gesture is something which, to them, I'm afraid, is a little bit rude. So ah. that's something we must try to <laughs> okay, avoid. Well, sorry about that. Yeah. Don't worry, we'll e just keep the tape running. We'll edit that one out. Okay. Um, how about Superman and Pompeii? What sort of memories do you have from them? Uh, Superman and Pompeii? Were they um, fun? <laughs> they were. <laughs> Definitely not fun? <laughs> oh, dear. No, I did. <laughs> Uh, Superman was a great deal of fun, and, and Last Day of Pompeii were a great deal of fun because we were filming in England, and I, uh, I found that I enjoyed being in England a great deal. Uh, yeah, when you enjoy something a great deal, that's when you do that with a hand. Oh, right. Something right. enthusiastic. Right. 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 I enjoyed uh, both of these films. You mentioned that Remember, Mr. Ned's children. been told that several like BBC me. reporters wanted to I interview him. I watch this. Be so late, Mr. Beatty, Neil Hunt, BBC. Hi, so, Rick, cut tape. Right. Well, excuse me, sir, what are you doing? You just walked into the middle of an interview. Interview? Well, I'm here to do an interview. Uh, uh, BBC? Yes. Wait, wait. Look, can't you see? Uh, we have cameras, Mr. Beatty's in the middle of an interview. This is... Well, I... I you guys did... go right ahead, huh? Did... I'm sorry, Mr. Beatty. I'm sorry, do you excuse me. I don't want to say, you from the B... ID, yes, I do. Maybe, yes, maybe we kill two birds with one stone. What, do, you, do your guys... Uh, Excuse me. Uh, uh, Hi. John Francis from the BBC. Hi, America. John. How are you? Yes. John Francis, BBC Telecentre. Very proud of BBC. BBC? Yes. You are too? This television centre would like. Gentlemen, you have both uh, just walked into an interview which is in progress. I don't no, understand. No, I've just given into that. Look, uh, do you have an ID too? Excuse me, this is ridiculous. Uh, just ask me for my ID. Here it is, BBC. <laughs> do you have the same? Yours? 
Oh, this is ridiculous. What? We can't all be here at the same time for <laughs> an interview. Really. Well, a mistake, yeah. This must have been a mistake. I must admit, I'm terribly sorry to inconvenience you in this way. This is ridiculous. <laughs> well, look, it seems to me we have uh, four choices here, uh, Mr. Petty, OK? Uh, either you'd like to be interviewed right now or continue your interview with the Cabo Islands, or perhaps I could interview you for the Solomon Islands, or this gentleman maybe we could deal with the Fiji Islands. And then uh, here it actually comes. we have a fourth choice, TV bloopers and practical jokes. <laughs> <laughs> we got you, Ned. <laughs> Whoa, did we? He's looking for his two accomplices now. Oh, huh? yeah. His, his trusted publicity man. <laughs> oh. This wasn't quite the kind of publicity Ned was expecting. <laughs>